four cylinder. Really? 300 horse. I got Eight turbo. Speed. That's crazy. Don't oh, where you see it. Four cylinder, can't believe this thing. I bet it's good on gas too. Oh, it is. Eight speed. All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that hats are almost sold out, guys. And I do also want to mention that these are probably the last time that we're going to be dropping this design right here or this logo. So these are going to be very limited. And I don't know, dude. I just love this style. What do you think about it, dude? dude? I love this style. Pop yours off right quick, dude. Look at this, man. I love these color combos, but you know what? The leather patch may be not the same anymore so yeah. definitely copy one copy dude. one we got three colors and if you want to help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com but as of right now let's just get back to the video at this point we're just playing a dangerous game dude what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are here at the original goon squad garage and today we're going to continue working on our 2020 cadillac ct5v and as you guys seen in the previous video, we ended up bringing all the parts into the garage over here. Then we slapped this whole entire front end together. And I gotta say, this front end is looking super sweet right there. We ended up popping out the headlights and just basically preparing the sucker to be wet sanded because what we're gonna try to do today is actually get this sucker inside the paint booth, dude. Inside the paint booth and hopefully painted by tonight, which will be absolutely amazing because then tomorrow we can start piecing it together, hopefully. Dude, dude, this thing is gonna look super sweet with all the black accents. You got that grill, you got that lip, you got these fog lights right here and everything. We just really want to just wrap this thing up and get it over with. That way we can go ahead and run to the grocery store here and there. You, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but also it is raining right now and it might slow us down just a little bit. So we really just got to be on our toes. And it's probably going to take about two to three hours to get this wet sanded and gather all of our paint supplies and materials and everything like that. So we really don't have any time to waste. But I think we're going to get it done, and I think we're going to get this sucker looking right today, dude. You got that right. So we'll probably just go ahead and call in our paint order. That way it's already yep. ready to go. That way we pick everything up. And then once this is sanded, we guess we load it on the trailer dude, and head that way, That dude. is right. So I say we go ahead, uh, grab some sandpaper, and probably start with wet sanding, get everything in order, get everything lined up, and go ahead and hopefully make it to the paint booth. See under the hood of that thing. Oh, I bet. I bet yeah, that's what kind of it is. It's sharp. <laughs> it's the first one. Let's it's go nice see. Blue's the best Ooh, we had one just like that. We had a Z01. I want to see what's under that hood. Yeah, that front end looks good. Mm. Down here's where it's scratching. Turn it oh, yeah. drive, please. Guy has some concrete blocks out there. Yeah. Pissed me out. Touch it up. Heck yeah. <laughs> Direct injection. Four cylinder. Really? 300 horse. I got eight turbo. Speed. Eight speed, yes sir. And it's turbo. That's what I'm telling you. Look at that, that turbo. They're selling them down things, people my age. You see that turbo on this there? Thing will swap in with you in a second. Ooh. Dude, that thing looks nasty. I bet that thing goes quick. It does. Still registered 160. <laughs> Believe me, four cylinder. Oh, this is, I mean, That's nowadays, the these four cylinders with turbos, they're, they're strong motors. This, this is the first one. General really? Motors, first one General Motors has put in the vehicle. That's crazy. Go over where you can see it. Yeah, it's the first turbo. 300 horse. It's nice. Four cylinder, can't believe this thing like it. power. I bet this thing rips. It put my ass on the back seat. <laughs> I told them, I said, y'all people, you're crazy. You mean to drive this. You, you young guys, salesmen there, 
They don't care. They just want you no, to buy something. No, they sell it. You know, my granddaughter, husband, he saw it. Next thing I know, he's going to got her one. It's thing. unreal what this son of a do. Unreal. Piston must be that damn big. Probably. <laughs> it got to be damn diesel pistons in it. I bet it's good on gas, too. Oh, it is. Eight speed. Dang, that's good. Yeah, and it's got a shift in there where you can set it. Shift it like straight shift. Oh, dang. Really? Steering wheel there. Oh, you got the paddle shifters. Yeah, paddle shifters. Ooh, wee. Shift like. Well, all right, we'll see that's you. That's all I do is show it. That's, that's awesome. right. Goddamn eight feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all have a good one. Oh, you already see my 45th anniversary. 45th anniversary. Oh, I bet. Last thing I got. Oh, dang. Ooh. Must be the trophy winner. <laughs> all righty guys and check this out we made it out here to the car quest with a car on the trailer right there got all of our paint supplies first off man how much was that paint right there dude Dude, that paint right there i believe was 700 dollars for two quarts no dude. it was 700 dollars a quart or right? a quart dude that's just insane that's worth more than gold dude honestly saying. dude some, i don't know the price of gold right now but we got <laughs> two quarts so that paint was roughly around 1900 bucks but blue usually is the most expensive right but that blue right here for that cadillac is probably the most expensive blue we ever bought probably the most expensive blue that they sell here most you know? expensive paint we've ever bought dude, easily dude it's crazy but huge shout out to carquest they always hook us up on a pretty dang good price on some of this paint so best prices in town honestly dude, dude. for sure 100 percent. and uh, hopefully we got enough we did two sprayable quarts so if we have to we'll probably use some old paint probably from the raptor i think it's the same paint we'll spray it on that way we get a blue just or get that tint you yeah know just I mean? get the tint of blue so we'll probably go ahead and head that way right now load everything whoa, whoa, whoa. up whoa, whoa. what about that camaro right there dude? oh man that thing's <laughs> that thing's a beast i thought he was talking about a v8 or something he popped that hood and there's a little four cylinder in there but he said has like and he said it puts him in the back seat, man. Puts he him all the way in the back seat on it's that. It's a turboed four cylinder. Yeah, I didn't like even that? know they made four cylinder turbos in those things. Which is pretty, pretty crazy. You know what I mean? That is pretty neat. But anyways, we got a lot of work on our hands. We got everything gathered together. I don't think we need anything else. Do we? No, I don't think we need anything else. It's um, two o'clock right now, so we need to go pretty dang quick. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna get there. It's gonna be three by the time we like finish up taping three, four, five, painting it. So we got to just head out there as soon as possible. Closely. Take that outside for a second. We're gonna update you guys right quick. Let's see what it looks like in the light. Dude, looks pretty sweet. That's a super, like a deep blue, almost purple blue, Yeah, right? and there's a bunch of metallics in the stuff that they actually use to mix this paint. Some of the chemicals are actually really expensive. That's why it makes this paint yep. super expensive. Tons of metallics. That's probably what it is. It's probably the metallics is yeah. expensive. Whatever they use, the, the way that they get the blue. How yeah, do they get the blue? Yeah, we don't know where this blue came out from, but it's expensive. <laughs> out of the sky or out of the ocean. But anyways, we got everything inside the paint booth. We're moving pretty quick, yeah, right? Moving pretty quick. We're trying to just beat uh, the sunset, you know what I mean? Exactly. So right I mean, now we got everything taped off, um, wax and grease removed, tack cloth, and we even went ahead and did a bulldog on bulldog. the whole entire car, Yes, dude. sir. I don't know if we're going to see a sunset tonight, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, Darkness. yeah, we don't want to get... Well, we don't want to get it too dark you know yeah. we're gonna see if we can get this car painted before it gets too dark dude. i mean what time did you say we were gonna what time did we leave i say it? we should we should have started we should start painting like at two o'clock what time it's, is it right it's now it's already four o'clock right now so. oh bad what do you think what time do you think we'll be done at four five six probably seven no, o'clock oh dude i think we're gonna be done sooner than that man. well it all depends on how fast paint dries dude. that's true the weather right now is a little and, bit more it's a little bit humid you yeah. know so that it tends to dry a little bit slower but you know what we're just gonna get started dude let's go ahead let's do it
guys to check this out right here, dude. They look slick, man. <laughs> we, we got the base coat, we got the clear coat, and everything went super smooth. Flawless, dude. Yeah, Amazing so far, results. everything looks really good. Minimal trash. I think the hood got the most trash out of everything, which is pretty crazy knowing that the car is like right here by the door. But you know what? Still turned out perfect. Three coats on everything, which is really good. I mean, if we needed to buff this thing, we can buff it like glass. No big deal. But dude, for the most part, it turned out amazing. Yeah, dude. and the most important thing is we had plenty of paint. We were able yep. to have some amazing coverage. Uh, and you spread out the metallics real nice, too. Yeah, I spread them out as nice as I possibly could. You know, just blended everything in. Make sure the bumper, because this bumper is super intricate, made sure everything had enough paint and uh, clear coat on that as well. Wait, there was actually one thing this paint job did not go perfect dude oh are you, you talking talk about i don't know well we don't know just yet we like i mentioned i was like we may have to wait till tomorrow until we go outside or something like that if the camera will pick it up there's there is like i'm looking at some kind of weird lines like in the actual paint itself yeah, so after i threw clear coat these lines actually formed i don't know what it is can you see those lines you cannot see them yes yeah, so we'll probably have to wait till we're outside hopefully it's sunny tomorrow that way we can see if there's anything wrong with the metallics it could be a possibility that the metallics like laid a weird way whenever i was blending it, yeah you know worst I mean? case scenario we'll just sand that door down and we'll just like re-blend it or whatever and yeah but i, mean, I highly doubt that i highly doubt I should have honestly just painted the whole door, but you know what? Blending is always the best. That's why I did that. But this paint match looks basically spot on. I mean, it looks amazing. Yeah, dude. definitely. And this color is just so beautiful. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the sunlight. Dude, it's just gonna just it's gonna pop, dude. It's gonna, is, are we having sun tomorrow? I think so. No, actually, it's gonna be cloudy tomorrow. Ah man, I know. We're right, have to dude. bring our own sun, dude. dude. I'm telling you, <laughs> this thing would absolutely sparkle. That front bumper is looking so dude, sick, dude, man. I can't wait till the headlights and all the grill pieces on here are a high gloss black so that's just gonna make this front bumper and the lip too it's gonna look super good dude, dude. i cannot wait of course we painted the back of the hood here just did some extras everything turned out flawless there this side of the hood let me get some up close here a little bit of trash like you said yeah, a little bit of trash but ain't no big deal ain't dude. no big deal so what are we gonna do right now dude right now um i was thinking about baking it but i'd rather let it uh just dry slowly on its own and then in the morning we're gonna come in turn on that heater blast it heat it up and we're gonna pull it outside and see what it looks like like sunlight technically dude technically i mean there's sun behind those clouds over there but man it looks absolutely just stunning dude, dude. it looks super sharp and actually looks like it's super smooth as well i mean yep. dude just look at that fender right there man that is just slick and the paint match is just absolutely perfect it couldn't have gone any better than that i mean look at that right there look at this right here dude that is just yeah. amazing this right here is fresh paint that's the old paint and i gotta say that's spot on right there and like you were saying i don't even think we're gonna probably even need to buff man and honestly dude, dude. i'm saying dude it's perfect dude unless you wanted to like take out like little like uh pieces of trash here and there but for the most part dude it is looking like let's glass see. let's man. see if we see that metallic imperfection I, I, really, I don't think we're gonna be able to I see it i don't think dude. you'll be able to see it now honestly we're gonna have to wait till it's like direct sunlight but dude for the most part it's looking pretty promising dude, dude. looks absolutely sweet that front bumper is just my favorite thing but you know what we're about to pop some accents into dude, it dude should we do i think we should or do you think it's too fresh it's up to you man i mean it's pretty fresh in that grill whenever you pop it in it gets really close i believe it even touches this bumper because it like snaps in and we could risk snapping it in and it like ripping it tearing it a little bit you know it, it could happen yeah you know so right mean? now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and pull it into the garage and then we'll decide if we want to pop some stuff on may throw the headlights in
at this point, we're just playing a dangerous game, dude. Dude, I don't think we should do it, man. I, I know we started like snapping this in right here and there's a little bit of scratches because this paint is so fresh. Definitely don't want to risk this perfect paint job just to be yeah, impatient. Yeah, underneath you know the I mean? no scratches on the surface. It's like where it yeah. snaps in. We don't want to risk it like peeling or anything like that. But for the most part, we're just trying to see what this thing will look like, man. That, dude, the black accents on that is going to look sharp, dude. And then we have like, like big grill pieces on the side, a big grill at the bottom, and that's all high gloss black. And the headlights are like all blacked out, dude. Yeah, this is going to look crazy, It's going to look super sweet. I got to say, man, now that we're getting this sucker together, we actually seen one driving by us as we were hauling this back to the house. Look Looks good. super sweet, but you know what? This color right here is the best, dude. Is the best, the man. best color out there. Man, that looks amazing. <laughs> but that's going to be pretty much it for the Cadillac for today, or this might be pretty much it for today's video. Got some super epic stuff happening in the next one. Yeah, in the next one, um, we got some big, uh, big you news. I mean, the it. shop uh, is actually going to have its lifts completely installed. So we're super excited. Ben Pack is going to send their crew out, I think, uh, next week on Monday. So we're we're, we're planning big things. We got it's going to be epic. Yeah, we got dude. some super exciting stuff. And also, I kind of want to just go ahead and touch it on this i guess about stuff that we're selling or should we just just sell it and not even say anything i mean we are selling some cars right now we're there's trying to work yeah we're trying to get rid of some inventory you know because there's always new inventory coming in like we mentioned the jeep gladiator haven't been posted up yet haven't been posted up yet and also the hellcat which uh, i'm probably trying to get rid of the hellcat right now and uh, also the track hawk right here which just sits here we need to just get rid of it there is some lights on the on the dash that keep popping up like the front sensor light or something like that something super simple but i think we just need to get rid of it like it is you know just we'll we'll incorporate that into the price yeah for sure 100 percent. just email us or dm us and we'll definitely serious figure buyers out. only yeah, seriously we definitely want to get rid of that i mean like we're we always like think like maybe we should hold on to it yeah. but then again we're like it's just sitting right now why let it sit and rock get something completely new and different dude exactly. and new episodes new rebuilds all types of stuff dude but guys that is pretty much going to be it for today's video we had some super great accomplishments on the cadillac right there got some great news coming at you guys so definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.